Tuesday, 18th of October, 2022. Live. Morning, everybody. I mean, honestly, Liz Truss could be forgiven for reflecting as she wakes up this morning. The old question with friends Friends like these, who needs her? Look at the Daily Mail. This is the Daily Mail just over a month ago and the Daily Mail this morning. (laughs) Cometh the hour, cometh the woman. Yes, we're off in office, but not in power. I mean, a complete vault facts. And that's the Daily Mail who's been in her corner constantly. Well, and also you mentioned with friends like these, who needs enemies? I mean, Penny Morden yesterday (laughs) stood up in the House of Commons and um, said, don't worry, the Prime Minister's not hiding um, under a desk. Let's have a look at the front pages this morning. In office, but not in power, is the headline in the Daily Mail. Paper says the Prime Minister has acknowledged she went too far too fast with tax cuts, and she's been trying to rally support from MPs. Unfortunately, many of them want her to quit. Now, these are Tory papers, but they're they're a ginner. The Sun says that Liz Truss sat ghost-like in the Commons as the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, ripped up her mini-budget. She's apologised for the mess on camera last night, but uh, the paper says that she has vowed she will not quit as Prime Minister. Meanwhile, because of all those U-turns, families could now face up to £5,000 energy bills from April, according to the Times. Paper says it follows the Chancellor's decision to end the energy price guarantee after six months instead of two years. Still salad days on the Daily Star. They continue with their references to explain the political and economic crisis that faces the Prime Minister, saying Lettuce Liz is on leaf support. Internationally, she's being compared to a lettuce. The Economist said she has the shelf life of a lettuce and the Washington Post is running headlines asking why the UK Prime Minister is being compared to a lettuce. This is humiliating on the international stage. The American president has criticised our economic policy. She can't stick to anything, can she? I'm just getting breaking news in my earpiece, Mr Heapy, that uh, actually the Prime Minister has stood down. She's resigned. What would your immediate emotional response be? Relief or disappointment? I can see straight away how your social media team would would click that up. (laughs)